Today on Living by Design, Kathy Holloway Hill speaks with Dr. Mark Hamilton on how to enhance the beautiful you on Living by Design. Tony Lamont presents Living by Design with host Kathy Holloway Hill. Kathy is a strong, powerful voice. She entertains, informs, and inspires her audiences everywhere she goes. Kathy Holloway Hill and welcome to another episode of the Living by Design show and I just have a question for you ladies and you gentlemen also do you like looking your best sometimes you just need that lift and sometimes you just need that enhancement well we have an individual today who is a guest on our show who is an expert in that area Dr. Mark Hamilton welcome to Living by Design thank you I am so glad to have this opportunity to speak to you about making people beautiful because yeah. that's what your business is. Yes. Yes, yes. it is. Yeah. So what is your area of expertise? I know you're an MD mm -hmm. and you're a plastic surgeon. Yes. And so I'm a facial plastic surgeon, oh, Okay. which means I focus on just plastic surgery in the face, head and neck, okay. both surgical and non-surgical. Okay, all mm -hmm. right. Now, some of, what are some of the more popular procedures that you mm -hmm. actually do a lot of, where mm -hmm. you get a lot of requests for those? So I, I, of course, do surgery, but the most common part in my field now is the non-surgical treatments that we do in the office, such as Botox or other injectables like Juvederm and Restylane. Those have really exploded in popularity. I'm sure they yeah. probably have. Yeah. How have some of those new injectables like the Botox and the Juvederm, mm -hmm. how have they actually changed the plastic mm -hmm. surgery industry? Mm -hmm. So where so much of my field 15, 20 years ago was really done in surgery, now more of it's done in the office where we'll do injections of Botox to relax muscles or the fillers like Juvederm which will last a, a year, two years or more in the office we can make do those treatments. I'm yeah. glad you talked about how long that the fillers can last mm -hmm. because that was going to be one of the questions I wanted to ask you yeah. is does it depend on the person or mm -hmm. what does it depend on yeah. that determines how long the fillers last? Yeah, Actually, it does a little bit depend on the filler uh, or, okay. or on the person. Um, some people who are really active, high metabolism, sometimes they will go through fillers a little quicker but in general, it really depends on which filler you're using. Okay. And we have some that are, uh, will last maybe three to six months. Um, we have others that'll last about a year. Okay. Some that'll last a couple years. Wow. And then we have uh, one that is very long term, certainly up to five years, probably more long term than that. I love that. Yeah. I love that. How, how safe is Botox? I've always wanted to ask that mm -hmm. question, but I've, I've always been afraid to ask. Oh, how, how safe no, is No, that's it? a great question that I get all the time. I think people are afraid of Botox just because of the name and they hear yes. it's from botulinum toxin and they hear yes. that term, but it's actually just the chemical that we use in tiny amounts to relax muscles. Mm. And as far as Botox cosmetic, there's never been a really serious medical issue from injecting Botox cosmetic for cosmetic purposes. So very, very well tolerated uh, when done in, a, in a, the physician's office by a trained person. Um, patients do very, very well with it. Now, I know off camera we had talked a little bit about this, so just talk a little bit more to our viewers about the safety of it and what is, uh, not not the safety of it because you just talked about the safety of it, but what is involved in the ingredients in, in Botox and mm -hmm. when, when you inject it in there, what causes the mm -hmm. muscles to relax like yeah. that? So bo Botox uh, is a chemical that causes muscles to relax, basically at the neuromuscular junction where the nerves come to the muscle. It helps block those little signals so that the muscle isn't stimulated and it just softens over time and with that 
whether it's frowning is, is softened or forehead lines are softened mm -hmm. or the creases when we when we squint yes all those can be be softened by that uh, by that chemical so in general when we look at the face the upper face we tend to use Botox to relax frown lines, squint lines, even forehead lines. And then the lower face is where we use those fillers. So muscle, Botox is a muscle relaxant. Right. The fillers are like Juvederm, Restylane, uh, Voluma, we in general use in the lower face. And anywhere you see creases or lines, shadows, we can fill those and kind of pop them up with the fillers. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now I know there have been collagen fillers from mm -hmm. the past. That's right. Yeah. How, how do these current ones like Juvederm and Botox, how do they differ from those? Yeah, so collagen was a filler we've had way in the past and right. it's been around for several decades and it, it was okay in that it would, would last maybe three months but not, not very long. Um, wow. In addition, some people would react to the collagen so they'd have to have a skin test beforehand whereas with all my years, years, and we do I mean, 500 injections a year. I've never had anybody have a serious reaction to a hyaluronic acid filler, which is a chemical that's natural to your skin. It's actually a component of the skin along with collagen. So very well tolerated and integrated into the tissues and, and natural to your body. So they're much better tolerated and they last a whole lot longer. Wow, that mm -hmm. is awesome. Mm -hmm. And yeah. they're probably less expensive, I would imagine. Well, um, some of them can be, yeah. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Now, okay, so we talked about the the forehead piece and mm -hmm. then the crow's feet. Mm -hmm. Do you do anything for the nose? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, like I said, this is your area. I'm yeah. just asking. Just... So that gets more into surgery okay. typically. Okay. Sometimes we can use fillers for some little minor refinements. Um, people that have a deep start off of the nose and then a bump, you can kind of soften it with a filler. Yeah, yeah. But Are you serious? You can, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am learning so much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Oh, but I was just saying, in general, for the nose, that really, I, I typically we would do more surgery for that, okay. and, and that's a whole discussion itself. There's exactly. a lot you can do with reshaping the nose. Right, right, right. Yeah. Exactly. I am having a magnificent time mm -hmm. talking to you. I'm learning a mm -hmm. great deal about this industry and your services. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a quick break and we're going to be right back with more from Dr. Mark Hamilton. Don't go anywhere. Welcome to Hamilton Facial Plastic Surgery. With a practice dedicated solely to facial cosmetic and reconstructive surgery, Dr. Mark Hamilton offers the most advanced non-invasive and surgical procedures with specialized care for our patients in the Indianapolis area. Dr. Hamilton's surgical procedures include facelift, blepharoplasty, brow lift, rhinoplasty, laser resurfacing, hair restoration, otoplasty, and deep chemical peel procedures. As a high-level injecting practice, Dr. Hamilton and our advanced nurse injectors perform a variety of injectables, including Botox and Juvederm. Our licensed estheticians offer a variety of facial treatments to help your skin look its best. These include facials, microdermabrasion, chemical peels, microneedling, dermaplane, reaction skin tightening, laser hair reduction, and permanent makeup application. Call our office to schedule a consultation with Dr. Hamilton, one of our nurse injectors, or licensed esthetician to explore your options. We look forward to speaking with you soon. Welcome back to Living by Design, and we are here with Dr. Mark Hamilton, who is an MD, and he's also a plastic surgeon, and he focuses on procedures from the neck up, and I love that. Mm -hmm. So, before the break, uh, mm -hmm. we were speaking about you know some of the fillers and mm -hmm. some of the the um, advantages that, mm -hmm. that we could get from the fillers. Mm -hmm. Let me just ask you this question: How safe are those fillers? Yeah, they're very safe, and I think that's that's one of the things make, that makes us so comfortable using them on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Like we were talking about with the collagen, we used to have to do a skin test. With the newer fillers, uh, in general, we don't have to do that. And even though we'll do, in my office, maybe 500 injections a year, uh, it is extremely unusual to see a reaction. I, less than five and 10 years of using these fillers that right. I've had. So very, very well tolerated and even when somebody does get maybe a little redness that sticks around or mm -hmm. a little swelling uh, it always goes away 
Um, so, so they, considering that much that we use them, they're extremely well tolerated. That's excellent. Yeah. Now, again, I know this is your industry, but what actually, I mean, do, and I don't even know if you put it out there, but what do they contain? I mean, yeah. what, what are their ingredients in those fillers? I mean, what what is in there to cause those muscles to relax mm -hmm. like that? So first starting off with the fillers, um, there's a variety of things that they use in the fillers, but by far the most common element now is hyaluronic acid, which like oh, collagen that we used to use, okay. it sounds like acid, that sounds bad, but that's a natural component of your skin. Absolutely. Just like collagen. Yes. Um, so it's recognized your body, it's integrated in the body, it's natural to the body. It's a I'm very chemical. familiar with that mm -hmm. and, and I love that yeah. because I am a, um, a really big, I'm really big on uh, alternative mm -hmm. and I don't mm -hmm. like prescription drugs of any sort. Mm -hmm. I like things that are natural to the body yeah. so that when it does come in, your body recognizes it and it can yeah. use it in the right way. That's right. And it helps hydrate the skin. It attracts water to the mm. skin to make it look better. Um, and it's also the hyaluronic acid fillers are actually reversible. Now, it's very rare that I have to do this, but sometimes if we have a little area we don't like, I can actually inject a chemical that will just reverse it to take it away. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So that very is, safe. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now I want to ask you, I'm really excited, mm -hmm. I want to ask you about the um, the mouth. Uh -huh. And when I say the mouth, I'm talking about how, and, and I'm kind of one of those people, but I know there are a lot of other people out there who have this, this problem or concern. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, if you're not aware of it mm -hmm. and you're just kind of sitting and like looking at TV and you're not paying attention, mm -hmm. the corners of your mouth can kind of downturn a mm -hmm. little bit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. 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 So what do you do about that? So that's uh, that's one of those common areas that we treat with the fillers typically. Um, and we can actually inject Juvederm or Restylane to fill in that groove. That's part of what you see in that area. Mm -hmm. And then you can also use the Botox very creatively, a tiny amount to turn the corner up a little bit. So two ways you can kind of approach that to, to help with that area. That's a very common concern. Wow. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Here's another common concern. Mm -hmm. I run across a lot of people who smoke. Mm -hmm. And you know those little smoker, mm -hmm. I don't smoke, but mm -hmm. you know those little creases? Those little lines. Those that we little get. lines, yes. yes, in the yeah. upper lip. Yep, yep. And that's a common thing. I'll hear people come in and uh, they'll say, you know, I don't even smoke and I'm getting these lines and what, what can I do about it? Oh, wow. Um, and really, again, the same thing. Two, two approaches to it. One is using those fillers to actually fill those lines in, and you can do that. And then some people have a natural purse to their lip, uh, tension in the muscles there, and you can use Botox to relax that a little bit. Wow. So that combination, you can you can soften those lines um, in the office. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that is so nice. Mm -hmm. And of course, I'm, I'm making an assumption, but I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. So I know you have fillers or uh, procedures where mm -hmm. you can in enhance the size of the lips. Yeah, and that's, you know, I, one area that really scares people when they, because of all the things they see on television, um, is the lips. And uh, yes, there are those stars out there who have taken it to this extreme, but for those patients who have thin lips and want just a little bit of volume, right. you can inject filler and make it look very natural, no one's going to know, and just give yourself a little bit more volume. And I think that, when done well, is a really nice way to enhance the appearance of that area. Uh, okay, Dr. Hamilton, mm -hmm. I know you've probably seen this before, but why do some people have a bigger one lip than the other? Mm -hmm. You know, because sometimes people have a bigger bottom lip. Mm -hmm. or bigger, what, what is yeah, that? and that's just uh, genetics. You know, some of us uh, are fortunate and are born with a nice full lip and it stays our whole life. Others have, have thinner lips and, and that's where we can help out. Some people have, you know, upper lip larger, larger lip lower lip larger that's just the genetics and and how we develop okay so yeah. you can enhance the lips and make one bigger but can Absolutely. you do the opposite and make a bigger one smaller you know you can and and honestly we don't have that very often but I have had a few patients who have had 
you know, overly large lips, really what they considered so large it was really uncomfortable for them. Or not, not compatible with their other not features. Other features, and we actually have done a lip reduction. Now, that's wow. not, not that often, and you do have to go for, to surgery for that. But okay. there is a way to, to actually make the lips smaller. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just, as you can tell, I'm going through the whole face. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. this jawline thing, mm -hmm. and uh -huh. I, I'm thinking of the things that either someone has asked me or I myself have mm -hmm. experienced. So mm -hmm. this jawline thing, sometimes I pass by the mirror and I'm like, oh, who was that? <laughs> you know, because yeah. it, it kind of is starting to droop a little bit yeah yeah so yeah. what do you have for that yeah and that's one of those signs of aging that that uh, so many women and men come in for um, because they're beginning to see a little relaxation and with that we get that heaviness along the jawline right. um, and really two approaches for that uh, some patients just aren't ready for surgery and there are some non-surgical things we can do from fillers to kind of fill in the area in front of it to camouflage the jowling that's a that's a nice non-surgical way to treat it. Mm -hmm. The surgical way to treat it really though is to do a, a lift. Yes. To address that area. Exactly. So that's what I thought. Yeah. That's what I thought. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, you you have so many things that mm -hmm. you can do, mm -hmm. and you know I know we haven't even talked about the neck, and there's so many things mm -hmm. that you know, and I also want to talk to you about products. Yeah. You know, do facial products really work? Yeah. But before we get to that, you're going to have to wait on that because that's coming up next on Living by Design. Don't go anywhere. Welcome to Hamilton Facial Plastic Surgery. With a practice dedicated solely to facial cosmetic and reconstructive surgery, Dr. Mark Hamilton offers the most advanced non-invasive and surgical procedures with specialized care for our patients in the Indianapolis area. Dr. Hamilton's surgical procedures include facelift, blepharoplasty, brow lift, rhinoplasty, laser resurfacing, hair restoration, otoplasty, and deep chemical peel procedures. As a high-level injecting practice, Dr. Hamilton and our advanced nurse injectors perform a variety of injectables, including Botox and Juvederm. Our licensed estheticians offer a variety of facial treatments to help your skin look its best. These include facials, microdermabrasion, chemical peels, microneedling, dermaplane, reaction skin tightening, laser hair reduction, and permanent makeup application. Call our office to schedule a consultation with Dr. Hamilton, one of our nurse injectors, or licensed esthetician to explore your options. We look forward to speaking with you soon. Welcome back, and we are having a magnificent conversation about enhancing your beauty because I know that's what you want. Now, before we went to break, we were speaking about the fillers and the Botox and all the different areas of the face that mm -hmm. it can enhance and mm -hmm. make our ladies and gentlemen look mm -hmm. beautiful because mm -hmm. you work on both, right? Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Good, mm -hmm. good, good. So you have a few pictures that I kind of want to refer to so mm -hmm. that people can actually see some of the procedures that you've mm -hmm. done in the before mm -hmm. and afters mm -hmm. are, are just absolutely mm -hmm. amazing. So mm -hmm. let's talk a little bit about what you have there. Yeah, so, <coughs> excuse me, so one of the areas that I think people don't realize that we can help with fillers, and actually we've gotten better in the last several years, is around the eyes. Mm. And it's very common for patients to have hollowing as well as puffiness in certain puffy. areas of the, uh, of the eyes where um, they used to think we had to do surgery for that, but now we can use fillers to fill in those grooves and camouflage those puffy areas. And that's actually what we've done in this patient, uh, filling in the grooves mm -hmm. and camouflaging the puffy areas, awesome. as well as, and I'll show on this view here and here, you can see the whole face, um, where we realize that with time we lose volume in the cheeks. And that by filling amazing. in those cheeks, we can help the whole eye area. So in that particular picture, mm -hmm. the under eye, those look like maybe bags or just bags. heaviness? Yeah, it's uh, actually fatty tissue that uh, protrudes out over time. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you were able to get rid of that, and then yeah. you were able to do something look like with a jawline? Yeah, so what we did was we refilled her cheeks. And if you think of a balloon when it's deflated, all the lines and creases become more visible. Wow. But by reflating those cheeks, um, you camouflage the eyes. And those fat pockets are still there, 
but we've camouflaged them. You sure did. Yeah. And did a great job. I love that. Great. What else do you have? There? So that's just more than another view of the same thing. Just okay. Patient. Okay. Um, so uh, just another patient from the front again, oh, showing wow. how we've we've uh, again helped that cheek area, and with that, help the eye area. You really did a great job on that one. Yeah. So fun that you can do this in the office and really fairly minimal downtime, minimal discomfort. Yeah. Uh, so for patients who you did it all at once. Did it all at once, in one session. Because it looks like. It, it also softened in the before picture. She had some things with, that it softened. Well, we might have done some Botox at the same time. I okay, think we did do okay. that too. So that's okay. right. Yeah, we did some Botox in the in the forehead there as well. I mean, that picture really does make her look years younger. Yeah, yeah. Just takes that tired look away. Exactly, mm -hmm. and the angry look. Yep. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely the tired look. Mm -hmm. The, the mm -hmm. um, that's great. Yeah. Got the yeah. Yeah. Absolutely love it. Yeah. What about dark circles? What well, so that? just like in that patient, for some people, those dark circles are actually shadowy. Mm. And if we can fill those shadows in, those dark circles will go away. Now, for other patients, it's thinness of the skin, and you can see the vascularity, um, or just, just thin skin in, in general, where you see some pigmentation. Those things we have to do some other tricks, whether it's be laser or some light-based treatments to, to help with those. So laser, so mm -hmm. it, laser would would that be considered non-invasive or? Um, well, the, that's a good question. Some of them are are non, uh, uh, what we call ablative. The skin stays intact, and some of them do take some of the skin layers off and are a little more aggressive. Okay. And it just depends what we're dealing with. Uh, a few light brown spots, we can use a very light laser treatment and take those away. For somebody with thin skin and a visible vascularity, we have to do a little bit more aggressive laser treatment. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Now, I really want to talk about some skincare products, like some creams and some, yeah. some just products. Yeah. What do you have to say about, because I have read everything <laughs> from soup to nuts mm -hmm. about, yes, they work, no, they don't. Yeah. What is your opinion about using certain products and if they do work to relax some of the, the crow's feet mm -hmm. or, or do some lifting at all, mm -hmm. what are they? So in no area, I mean, you turn on the television and you see it all the time. The, lots of promotion. Exactly. Nowhere in my field is there more promotion than skincare. And so much of it has a very little benefit um, and it invests a lot of patients time. Mm. And there are products that will make a difference over time, mm -hmm. but in general I tell my patients think of skincare as maintenance. It's not going to do a dramatic transformation like surgery or fillers but it will make subtle differences over time and it will help you maintain your skin. And that's, that's what I like to think about in terms of skin care. Kind of like for the dentistry, brushing your teeth. It's not gonna do anything dramatic, but it's important. So find okay. some products that you really like and that have some science from them. That's where your esthetician or plastic surgeon can help you. I like that. And stick with them. Well, I, I can tell you this. I used a product, and I am not going to call the product name, <laughs> but it was it was supposed to exfoliate mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because when you exfoliate, you get rid of the dead cells, yes. and it's yes. supposed to you know brighten your skin or yeah. whatever the yeah. exfoliants do. Yeah. I went through this process, and I used it according to the instructions mm -hmm. every day. One day I woke up and it was like my skin was literally peeling to the point where, <laughs> I'm, I'm serious, yeah. where there was teeny pieces of skin hanging off mm -hmm. and I'm like, what in the world? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I did notice once I got through that stage, I did know, I mean, people were starting to ask me, what, what have you done? I mean, yeah. my skin was, was shining. Yeah. It was it's it's shining. It better. Yeah. And I think exfoliating is a key part of most most good skin care okay. and it's a balance though you don't want to be shedding your skin like a snake at work oh my God. <laughs> and but, it's falling everywhere i mean you see all these little pieces of stuff yeah, hanging yeah, you know yeah. like, what is this all this stuff yeah but there are some exfoliators that are more gentle 
and, and everybody will tolerate a different level um, that you can do on a daily basis that will stimulate that skin turnover over time to help your skin overall. What is that? Retinol? What, what is that so product that, or that ingredient that causes it? Yeah, there, there's a variety of ones out there. The, the product with the most science behind of all the skincare products, if I'm going to have patients on one product, it's a retinol type product. We're either Retin-A or Retinol or derivative of that, whichever they tolerate better. Each person is different. Their skin's different. Right. So it's matching the right product for the right skin type. Right. That's really a big part of it. One of the things that I was trying to fix, because I stopped that, that, that scared <laughs> me. One of the things I was trying to fix is when I was younger, I had real bad acne. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of people out there can relate. Yes. And it left acne scars. I mean, I had acne to the point where it would turn into cysts. Yeah. And it, and it left really bad scars. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to come up with a way to, you know, get rid of those scars. I don't want to have to wear makeup every yeah. day. I, yeah. I don't want to go sometimes with, with just, you know, bare skin. Yeah. So we've talked about all the easy stuff, you know, with fillers and Botox. And acne scars are really tough. Mm. Very, very tough. Um, in general, a skincare product's probably not going to do much for those okay. other than make your skin overall look better. Okay, got it. Unfortunately, got it. that's my not so good answer for the day. Oh, no, yeah. no. You, yeah. you have given an amazing amount of information. Yeah. And right now, at this point in time, I want to ask you to please give all of your contact information, your website, social media mm -hmm. name, everything that you have that's out there where someone can reach you. Please give it to us. No, okay. Well, it's, my name is Dr. Mark Hamilton, a facial plastic surgeon, and my website is www.hamiltonfps, facial plastic surgeon, com. And uh, phone number is 317-859-3810. Uh, um, and we are on Facebook uh, and social media as well. So, uh, under the same name? Uh, under the same name. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. great. That's yeah. great. I tell you, you have really, really been a superb guest, and I just so much appreciate everything you have shared with the viewers and shared with me, and you're just going to make the world beautiful. So well, It's been fun. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of Living by Design. We try to bring you the very best guests who can make you the best that you can be because we want you to live by design, and we want you to be beautiful while you're doing it. Thanks. We'll see you next week.